Sweet William he arose one morning in May, he dressed himself in blue. And pray can you tell me that long, long love between Lady Margaret and you? I know nothing of Lady Margaret, he says. Lady Margaret knows nothing of me. Tomorrow morning about eight o'clock, Lady Margaret, my bride, shall see. Lady Margaret was in her dowel room, combing back her yellow hair. She saw sweet William and his new wedded wife as they drew near to her. Oh, down she threw her ivory comb, and back she threw her hair, and running to her bedchamber to never no more appear. The very same night they were all in the bed, they were all in the bed asleep. Lady Margaret, she arose and stood all alone and sung at sweet William's bed feet, saying, How do you like your bed, sweet William, or how do you like your sheet? Or how do you like your new wedded wife that lies in your arms asleep? Very well, very well, I like my bed. Very well, I like my sheet. But ten thousand times better do I like the lady gay that stands at my bed feet. Sweet William, he arose and stood all alone. He tingled at the ring. There was none so ready as her dear old mother to arise and let him come in. Oh, where's Lady Margaret, he says. Oh, where's Lady Margaret, he cries. Lady Margaret is a girl I always adored. She has stolen my heart away. Or is she in her dowel room? Or is she in her hall? Or is she in her bedchamber among those merry maids all? She is neither in her dowel room nor neither in her hall. Lady Margaret, she is in her cold coffin with her pale face turned to the wall. Oh, down he pulled those milk white sheets that was made of satin so fine. Ten thousand times she has kissed my lips, so lovely I'll kiss thine. Three times he kissed her cherry cherry cheeks, three times he kissed her chin, and when he kissed her cold clay lips, his heart it broke within, saying, What will you have at Lady Margaret's bearing? Will you have some bread and wine? Tomorrow morning about eight o'clock, the same may be had at mine. They buried Lady Margaret in the old churchyard. They buried sweet William Barr. Out of Lady Margaret's grave sprung a deep red rose. And out of 
Williams Abrar. They grew to the top of the old church house. They could not grow any higher. They met and tied in a true love's knot, and the rose hung on the briar.